hello YouTube welcome back to my video in this video I'm going to show you how to add a Google recapture I'm not a robot recapture in a Java JS project here we go okay let's go step by step so first step is uh, register in Google recapture for that just go to your browser and uh, search for register recapture So in the first link itself, you will get the, the recapture link. Just click on that. So uh, I have already created two captures here. So for you, if you are uh, going to create a new captures, just uh, select the version two recapture and uh, create a name like testing. And uh, now for now, we are testing on local host. So just give in the local host, accept it and register. Yes, uh, we have successfully registered uh, for the uh, recapture. So we have registered in Google recapture and the next is get the side key and the secret key uh, from where we have registered. So once we have registered, we will get uh, the side key and secret key uh, from uh, the Google. So here it is side key and secret key. So I'm going opening notepad and uh, just noting down it. So this is the side key and the second one is the secret key okay okay now the third step is uh, uh, creating a project for the uh, js sub so i am using my uh, netbeans ide so uh, go on to create a js sub project in netbeans so this is my uh, netbeans ide i am going to create a new project so i am selecting a java and web application click next and my i am giving the project name as recap chart test all others are put in default click next and uh, let the server is the class fish you can select any of that so click next and we are using the js sub framework means uh, the java uh, server faces click on that and uh, just click finish because uh, we are using uh, the default js sub without any components just click finish okay now we have created the recapture test uh, project uh, which is a basically a JSON project now the fourth step is create a page with the form details to su submit the user input and uh, create a manager bin to validate the user inputs so let's go for the fourth and fifth step so this is my index page let me add a form in this so that uh, we can uh, implement the captures here So I have added a form you can see the first field is the username which is actually a text box and uh, the next one is a division class uh, actually uh, this I got from uh, the recapture configuration here so this is saying the client side integration we can have to add uh, the JS script and also this division so once you add this division uh, you will get uh, this recapture included in your system uh, you can see in the head session i have included the, the uh, javascript uh, uh, tag here the division for the recapture so i have added the data uh, side key here which you will get from uh, the configuration from the recapture now it's actually uh, coded to submit the value to a login uh, username so we have to create a managed bean uh, named the login so in the next step we'll check that to create the managed bean to submit this form data so to create a managed bean go to your source packages where you will create your uh, java files i'm going to create a package named com now inside that i'm going to create a, a js of managed bean you can see here just click that so i'm going to create a js of managed bean named login just click uh, finish so we have to um, delete the, the annotation but it is uh, by default what is coming so I am uh, giving it as a manager bean annotation so it's from uh, java x dot faces dot bean so I have uh, imported that and again I am uh, annotated in this as from uh, request scoped okay it's again from java x faces dot bean so i have added some variables in this class you can see i have added a private string username variable and again uh, uh, 
uh, the getters and setters for the you uh, the the variable and again I have created a submit form method which is actually uh, the server side uh, checking of your recapture so what actually does is from this index uh, page the action you can see the submit action is going to login dot submit form so this login dot submit form will call this method and this method is internally get a value from uh, this division class which is actually hidden hit uh, submitted as hidden form so i am getting that value to this recapture response i am just uh, passing this recapture response to verify recapture java class here so in this java class it is actually checked by passing a, a json request and getting uh, the values oh once the method is success i mean checking is success it will return success as a uh, boolean true and uh, if it is false it will uh, return a boolean false here so i am returning if it, if it is success it returns success if it is false i am uh, calling the faces context to get a message printed on your screen on your on your index page so here also in this verify recapture also you have to put uh, your secret key here so you'll get your secret key from uh, the recapture registration you can see here secret key is this one i'm just copying this to here again now i have copied the secret key here that's all uh, for now so we have completed uh, the create verify method to verify capture response and uh, the next step is to create the faces config xml so this faces copy xml is fo actually redirect your page uh, after uh, verifying your capture so if it is uh, not successful it will be redirected to login.html and if it is success it, it should have to uh, forward to another success page so let's go for them so i am going to create a faces config xml for that just right click your project go to new and uh, you can see java js of uh, faces configuration just click on there so its default name is faces.config just be default just, just click finish okay now uh, it will be created in here the configuration file uh, faces config so we have to uh, set the navigation uh, rule here okay, I have written the navigation rule so it's uh, basically uh, the properties here is the from view id it is uh, uh, from where the request is will be coming so it is submitting to action login dot submit form if uh, the outcome of this is success so it will be redirected to uh, success.xhtml so we don't we didn't create a success.xhtml here we will create now and if it's uh, to, if it is null or uh, false it will be back to index.xhtml now we can go for creating uh, success.xhtml i am going to create the json page go to new and just of page and the just of file name just click type your success and uh, finish it so so i have written a success uh, message here and it will be showing uh, the username which we have submitted in the index.xtsml page so okay now we are all set to test our application so let's go for testing so for testing i am just right clicking in my uh, project and just click run let's see okay so it's uh, successfully loaded our form with the username as a first field and here is our uh, recapture I'm not a robot and uh, submit button so if I am clicking submit button so it is uh, showing end the name because uh, in our project we have set it as required is equal to true and the required message is equal to end the name so we should enter uh, the name there so i am uh, just entering my name uh, j, 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 j. and i am not uh, selecting our uh, recapture and just submitting so see here the message comes select capture so this message is coming from our login uh, we actually our it is it is, is our form is come uh, submitting to su submit form 
method so in this submit form it is returning salad captcha message this will be shown in our facelet page in the index page so i am just uh, selecting the captcha now i am just uh, typing game on and submit so it's actually submitted uh, to the next page success page and whatever uh, what i have written there is game on this will be shown in the game on page so this is all uh, about uh, uh, implementing the J uh, i'm not a robot in the jazz sub project if you have any doubt in this please comment below i'll be helping you and uh, please like and subscribe for and please like and subscribe for my videos and thanks for watching Thank you.